Okay, today we have received a uh, logic board out of an apple. And as you can probably tell, this uh, logic board is, well, considerably old. It's actually from a, uh, I want to say a color 2. So, what we see is that the capacitors, even though they're can top electrostolics, uh, it appears they've gone bad. We have uh, some things over here, so we're just going to tighten our zoom up on them. And um, we can see that those have gone bad. So what we're going to do is replace all these uh, can tops. Actually, a better shot would be on uh, this one right here we can actually see the discoloration right there is uh, leakage and such it looks like it's pretty bad so anyways in the end what we're going to do is change out all these capacitors and we're going to put uh, just flat style tantalidiums like this one on the whole entire board so that's going to take a little SMD work but uh, hopefully we'll get it done and that's what we're about to do here in a minute. Just had a thought while I was sitting here. Uh, for all those who wonder how old this actual board is, we'll tighten up on this. Uh, that'll give you some kind of idea as to when it was manufactured. That gives you the part number and the year pretty much from 1992. So That'll tell you how long these capacitors have actually ran without failure and uh, how they actually how good they actually were. Uh, old technology is still relevant and everything is still usable today. So pretty much in this video all we're doing is taking the radial capacitors that we have right here, uh, electrostolics, and just exchanging them with solid state tantaliniums uh, and we'll do that for <coughs> every radial capacitor that we have on the board so pretty much what we're going to do is just remove them one set at a time so we don't get the numbers confused and then change the the radials with the flats and then go from there and then uh, clean the board up but uh, we're set to put those on here in a second and so we're going to put the uh, SMDs on and I'll, we'll hope that, we, that they fit and everything. So we'll go from there. Just as a side note, um, with electrostolics, you have the line denoting the negative side. So what happens with, say, these are negatives, but on tantalidiums, these flat ones, the line actually denotes the positive side so when placing these on the board that's something to remember uh, the line goes to the positive and that'll keep your board from messing up okay so now we've changed the capacitors on this board and we're set to uh, wash it so that's what we'll do next is clean it up and uh, everything looks uh, changed out uh, it actually looks fine all the joints look good so we'll say that it's done except for washing it okay so now we've finished uh, washing our board so everything looks perfectly fine now the capacitors came off while we were cleaning it up so what we're going to do is take and uh, say that this one's complete everything looks done with it and we'll finalize it and say it's done that'll be that 